I don't know if y'all uh, can hear the choppers in the background. Um, there's been, I went just got back from walking. Hammer. Hammer says good morning. Hammer says good morning. I know. Um, so yeah, there's choppers. Uh, you know, I just hate this country. So I'm just getting on to share with y'all really quick this morning before I start chanting. Um, today's January 3rd. Right? I believe so. I hope so. Today's January 3rd, right? Yes. Um, and the third says, this is from the book, Buddhism Day by Day, Modern Wisdom, or excuse, Wisdom for Modern Life. Yes. Um, there simply are no Buddhas who spend all their time sitting in meditation. Buddhas are Buddhas precisely because they continually ponder and take action to help others resolve their worries. So, um, thoughts and prayers, nice words, meditative thoughts, all that's great. But without action, you're not, um, you're not, you know, fully doing the work. So, good morning, y'all. Love you, too. Um... Yes, definitely. Thank you. I'm definitely sharing the medicine with you. Um, Amber, stop licking on my hand. Good morning. Listen here, Mary. Hi, Thailand. Pin for your fans, girl. Pin for your fans. What's a pin? For? Pin for your fans. I don't know what you mean by that, but if you can elaborate. Good. Devon Flamine, Flamina, hey Devon. E. Parlo, good morning, y'all. Good morning. Yeah, stay safe out there. Um, Cause things are gonna be, get interesting. Things are gonna get interesting, but guess what? I think I just honestly believe I'm telling you, I've been grappling with some things and it's just because I'm always trying to gauge how much do I get involved? How much capacity do I have at the moment to get involved in any various thing? You know, um, cause the Surviving R. Kelly documentary took me out last night. And so, um, you know, I had only saw a part of it um the first season and so and i stopped after that and i know dream hampton and i know she's doing great work and i support it and i believe all those women i believe them the first fucking time i didn't need a tape i believe them the first time but with all this overwhelming evidence it just sickens me to my soul to see anybody saying anything other than um about r kelly's behavior um so, but, uh, but yeah, so, um, so I just think it's time. It's just time. It's time. Like when people say time's up, bullshit. Call me when it's really time's up. Call me when it's really time up. Y'all playing right now. Let me just tell you something. I'm gonna be honest. Let me tell you something. I had to get like, I'm gonna be <laughs> real. Like. I am someone who is very, very responsible and accountable to the things that I do and say. And so, and my tasks and responsibilities. So when I'm acting and when I'm acting on set and when I'm doing all these things or whatever, you know, I'm going to be a little, I'm going to be real. The crew loves me. Like you ask anybody on the crew about me, my attitude, how I come, my work ethic, all that kind of stuff. It's all love. It really is. But also there's just times when you have to like kind of set boundaries. Um, and I know this is a little tangent, but li you know, this have set boundaries in the sense that like, you know, I'll get called on to set as if it's a rush and everybody's ready to do something. And then I'm standing around, um, waiting you know what i'm saying anywhere from 10 minutes to uh you know what i mean which 10 minutes is too long 
But like anywhere from that to even longer. So it's kind of like, how about you call me when you really ready? Because I'm ready. I'm in, I'm, and if I'm, and if I, I, I'm ready. And not only am I ready, but in the meantime of being ready, I'm getting more ready. So, all I'm saying is, y'all, y'all, we've been saying, you got to stay, uh, if you stay ready, you don't got to get ready. Well, guess what? 2020 is pretty much that manifestation of, I hope you bitches was ready. Because a lot of you bitches was talking about staying ready. I hope y'all ready. Because, let me tell you something. If it's really about times up. Times up on all of the foolery. You can't hold on to some of it. You can't hold on to some of it. All the foolery has to stop. All of it. So, if you're not about dismantling the whole thing, if you're not about treating immigrants that come to this country like human beings, if you're not around like calling out these not even just calling out. Like, bitch, when I tell you, I just tweeted um, to uh, Mikhail, um that used to work at Out. Like, he uh, tweeted a video from Project Runway last night where one of the white queens from um, Project Runway um, dragged Miss Thing. Um, I don't know what her name is. Um, that's married to one of the Kushners. Um, but Miss Thing, he dragged her. Dragged her. It, like... Because he was like, I couldn't see her wearing this. I couldn't see her wearing to this to anything. And he was like, not even to um, dinner with the Kushners. Bitch, the entire room was gagged. This is the energy. I need the white gaze on. Because a lot of us been on that. Y'all seen Ashley Marie Preston uh, go up to Miss Caitlyn Jenner years ago. Before anybody was like, I mean, come on. Like, not even that. I read I read the girl on her show. Not not on her show. Excuse me. Not on her show. On her show, they edited it to make it seem like I was reading Caitlyn Jenner. But I was not. We were all having a different conversation. That wasn't what this... That's, I Am Kate was so edited. I was so disappointed in Caitlyn Jenner as a member of the community. Because I was like, bitch, you came in like a, sh uh, a sheep, a wolf in sheep's clothing. That's what you did. You can't. You feel like a wolf, wolf in sheep's clothing. That's why I don't nobody trust your ass. But let me, I digress. What I'm trying to say is, a lot of us been calling folks out, been calling this shit out, and getting to a point where, bitch, like. And let me stop cussing because I'm trying to be um most um in my spirit this morning. But um, but. I'm I'm gonna need y'all to um I'm gonna need y'all to turn up. I'm gonna need y'all to turn up because guess what? I'm gonna y'all to turn up because guess what? We ain't gonna we ain't got no choice. We have no choice. Our president just started a war. We been saying we been new get this motherfucker out of office. But guess what? You got so many people in power who are still voting, who are still making it, who are greasing the way for this. So guess what? Bitch, you let them talk about um, these white people that had um, made it uncomfortable for some, I forget who it was, for Sarah, maybe it was Sarah, whatever, who it was. They were going to a restaurant and they felt uncomfortable. They weren't welcome in that restaurant, bitch. You can't go out in public. And what I mean is, I'm not talking about violence. I'm talking about a non -vi I'm talking about nonviolence. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm, oh, I'm talking about nonviolence. I'm talking about nonviolence. <clears throat> but what I'm saying is, is that like the protesting, whether it's... Um, the processing has to amp up. Like, no more of these um, uh, craft, arts and craft marches, bitch. Because somebody wants arts and crafts marches, bitch. March up to the motherfucking Trump building. March up to the motherfucking whoever, Fox News. I mean, like, the shit, like, wherever you have, 
wherever you have access influence, you got an eye on that bitch. I got an eye on this bitch. Like, you can't move around this motherfucker comfortable destroying this bitch. What I mean by this is this. Motherfucking R. Kelly. Every single person. Let me just tell you this. That Trump. Is an indictment. The in existence. The, 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 the impeachment of Trump. But the, also the election of Trump is an indictment on America. It's an indictment on white supremacy. It's an indictment of all of the white people from the most overt to the most well-meaning. All of them who supported white supremacy and uplifted and greased the pathway to play devil's advocate, to have these different um, things, to be the gay voice for Trump, to do all these things. This is an indictment. And so you can't don't try to dust off the shit off your hands now, bitch. Don't try to dust the shit off your hands now, bitch. Like you help grease the way. So like. I say that to also say, bitch, let's not get it twisted. And this message that I'm about to say now is not for anybody that's not black. This is to say to the black folks, we got to get our own house in order. No commentary needed from non-black people on this. But saying black people, we need to get our own house in order. We need to stop greasing the way for these abusers, for these men who abuse black girls. We need to stop with calling young girls fast and understand that men are preying on them, that they are prey. They're not fast, they're prey, they're slow. Because they're not fast enough. No fucking woman in America is fast enough to get away from that bullshit. Not a single one. So we need to stop that narrative. Not a single one is fast enough. I was triggered last night. I was triggered last night because I ended up calling the um I ended up calling the motherfucking hotline. I called the hotline. I'm like, I called the hotline. <sighs> Let me get off this thing in a second. Uh, I don't know how some of y'all are doing it. And this is why I create my refuge that I create. When I go back home, it's a lot of loud family. It's a lot of, a lot of stuff. And I just, uh, and I love my family. I do. Um... But the way that most people like uh, live on a daily basis, like like just with so much noise, and also it's like noise to cover up what the fuck you don't want to think about. It's noise to cover up what the fuck y'all don't want to say. Like, and it's fucking obvious as fuck to me when I come in these environments, because I'm just like. Y'all don't, uh, so, like, and not just that, but, like, the way my life is set up right now, the way my spirituality is set up, the way that everything is set up, and I'm trying, I'm chanting, and I'm trying to be in the highest spiritual place to deal with things and people, but a lot of people need to be held accountable. A lot of people, not just R. Kelly, not just Trump, not just Weinstein. We lived in a culture where women had to co-sign for safety. They had to co-sign to the patriarchal terrorism. 
to the misogyny and terrorism. We see this illustrated in like a lot of our Hollywood dramas that show back in the day how men just kind of did whatever the fuck they wanted to do. And yeah, so, um, and no Tino Shay, I'm exhausted. I think we need a break. To be honest, I, I think we need a break from old white men running this country. We need a break. We, I need a break. Because everywhere you fucking go, when we have a conversation about abortion, it's a table of white men making the motherfucking decisions. When we talk, I mean, this, I'm tired of just looking at the TV and screaming, bitch, run. Or screaming, bitch, don't go in there. Bitch, it's reality TV. That's you on TV. That's us. Bitch, get out of there. Watching the fucking Handmaid's Tale. Like it's, I'm living by, bitch, I live in the Handmaid's Tale. I don't need, I live in the motherfucker. I live in the, Listen, I know what it is. A lot of you, a lot of folks out there are just not um, sure and comfortable um, with their power, their value or their power. Like there's a lots of lessons. Hopefully in 2020, we're going to get to learning your value, learning your power, learn like learning your voice. Like these are all like I, and I'm just I'm saying like almost like little simple bullets. But if you if you don't understand that, like. What happened to those girls? What R. Kelly did to those girls? And how some of those girls signed up for it. But didn't know what they were signing up for. I'm gagging because. I see a lot of folks out there. In some of these girls. I see. The fact that some of y'all want to be famous so fucking bad that you would do any fucking thing if somebody, you would do anything. And not mature enough, mature enough, mature enough to postpone gratification for the work that is required. But you want the shortcut. But you want, and all that shit got a price to it. And this is not a um. This is what this what this is saying is that y'all saying, oh, why these these girls is this and these girls is that. These some of these girls ain't no different than some of y'all. That would get caught up if somebody came to you with the right right price. Look up a book called Anatomy of the in in um Anatomy of the Spirit. I think it is or Energy of Anatomy Anatomy of Energy by Carolyn Miss. Um, spelled M-Y-S-S. -S. She talks about the prostitute archetype. Archetype. Which are these like personality, like these, these cookie cutter like personality traits that are found in most people. Like the child archetype. In most of us. In all of us. It's a prostitute archetype. Everybody has their price about for what for which they're willing to sell their creative energy for which they're willing to sell maybe their moral uh perspective their whatever people working for crooked ass fucking companies because the salary is right people um going to certain churches no so it ain't just about the hoes because let me tell you something some of these hoes out here are more authentic and honest about the situation because they're not lying to themselves and they're not lying to others who they're dealing with. It is what it is. But a lot of people out there are lying to themselves and to other people um, because so many people are aligning with bullshit. 
and to understand to understand the, this in a deeper context is that to be cis heteronormative cisgender heteronormative straight to buy into popular mainstream culture to be able to win the game of life in in, in mainstream culture um is to there's a it's a pathway to learn um how to align with like so white supremacy is 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 not just about white people it is about how we've been subjugated to align with default principles actions thoughts um establishments default this is the way it's always been done this is the way it is we to align with it without question and so those of us who raise children who um whatever and who further oppress people because they're gay lesbian trans um because they're black because they're immigrants because um People who participate in all these different things are aligning with something that that is is a benefit to them. It's a benefit. It may not be like a direct hit to their bottom line, but bitch, aligning with the status quo pays. Bitches who can keep their mouth shut can keep their check. I'm staying away from specifics because we all know there's specific people who are double who are agents. We all know there's specific people who are who are uh doing the devil's work. And then you got the motherfucking peanut gallery, the fans of R. Kelly, or the ignorant ass people who are calling me a man for calling out black girls um who rock. For not acknowledging that Janet Mock fucking rocks for her, for what she's doing with Netflix. That Laverne Cox rocks. That the cast of Pose rocks. That like, that when you think about the deaths of women, that you should also think about the deaths of trans women. What is your fucking problem? Now, watch. Because every fucking turn I feel like, and I'm just going to say it, every turn I feel like I've been buried after saying something. And then the shit just comes out and somebody else is on it. Some trans person, you know, they're doing something or whatever. But, you know, and I see some of y'all journalists and folks calling back to Angelica calling this out at a certain point. Me being on the red carpet at every chance I got saying, <laughs> Essence Fest. B-E-T. Y'all motherfucking listening? Stop aligning with the shit that's corroding our humanity. It's corroding our humanities on life support. So in 2020, I need you to get clear on what you doing. I need you to get clear on what you doing and in what ways you're contributing to this. Because guess what? We all here. I knew what I knew what I was contributing. I, I became I went to a process of becoming conscious of my um, of my footprints across this earth and have worked hard to fundamentally challenge every single thought that I have that is not in accord with human dignity and equality and all those things. 
So I still learn and I still learn and I still get called out and I still, you know, welcome folks to hold me accountable because I'm trying to lead the way. I'm trying to be an example. I'm trying to I'm, it's not that I'm trying to be an example, but you ain't I ain't got no fucking choice. I don't got no choice. So I'm going to let you know this also, and then I'm getting up off here. So I'm going to let you know, there are certain people that I have worked with over the years that I'm not fucking working with anymore. In 2020 and going forward, not doing it. Some of y'all... have taken me for granted, have used my name, and silenced me in the process. So instead of calling out anybody specifically, I'm just saying this shit's not happening anymore. So just so y'all know how Things are set up for me when I go forward. Call me what you want. Call me a bitch. Call me strict. Call me Anna went the devil. Call me whatever you want to call me. Cause I'm good. I know the uh, I know the work that I'm doing. I know the good that I'm doing, both on a personal level of investing in people I don't need to invest in that are costing me all kinds of money, but doing that because out of the love of my heart, investing in community through trans tech do, and not getting paid to do it but because i know it's the right thing to do and it's the thing that i have a vision a huge vision for that will unfold and even more so this year and to those individual people in community that i help that are not related to me that i help and give energy and financial support and all kind of things too so listen i'm good I'm good. I don't need validate your validation. I don't need your exposure. I don't need your exposure. I got I'm I'm good. So, I'm only doing projects and I'm only working with people who are honest to themselves and to the people they work with. When I move in business, I'm not going to publicly drag anybody, but I am going to be honest as I walk these streets of Hollywood about what my experiences are. So um, whoever's watching out there that needs to know that and hear that you heard that, but um, I'm, not make, I'm not spinning shit for you. I'm not making shit sound better for your uh, sake. I'm calling it what it is, but I'm just not going to get out there and drag because I'm just not getting, I'm not, I don't, I'm not doing, I'm not using my, uh, uh, my energy waves, my, um, I'm talking about platform waves to soak up the shit when I got other business to take care of. I got other things to do. So... I'm t I promise you, I promise you, and I'm getting off this thing, but I'm telling you this a lot. I promise you, the things I did in 2019, the things I did in 2018, the people I worked with, um, I worked with some amazing, amazing, amazing people and amazing projects. But I also did some things that I didn't learn until it was too late, that things weren't what they seemed and people weren't what they seemed. And so, um, or, you know, whatever. So, um, so yeah. So those projects, if they may come out in 2020 or if certain things, you know, happen later on, you know. Anyway, um, no, nothing dealing with Ryan Murphy. Like Ryan Murphy is golden. I'm, I have nothing bad to say about any work that I've done with Ryan Murphy. Um, no, this is just other stuff, but, um. Yeah, so
it's just too many of us that feel silenced because you're trying to either protect somebody's image or too many people are involved that, you know, you can't tell other people's story. But when your story's linked to it, you know, you're just like, I don't live, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to um, not confront my challenges. I don't know how to not face the devil. That's not, I was built, I was built. So, all of you that need to find support out there with all the different hotlines, like call the hotlines, be in therapy, call your therapist, do all the things that you need to do. Um, because this is what I want, this is what I'm going to make an ask for from, from whoever is able and willing. I need us to put our grown folks panties and underwears on. And I need us to seek out the support that you think you need in order to get in the game. So get ready. If you ain't been ready, get ready. Because we need everybody to get in the game. like. Some of y'all sitting on some some privilege to sit it out. A lot of y'all sitting on privilege to sit this one out. I mean, I don't really got a dog in that fight. Uh, I this ain't that ain't got nothing to do with me or, you know, whatever. But the reality is, it, it do got something to do with you, baby. Um. So I need y'all to get ready. Find your therapist. Find your friends, but do not use your friends as your therapist, but use your friends as friends to do the things that friends do to keep to the things that friends do. But use professionals for the professional stuff. Find a therapist, find, um, you know, religious support for me. I it's it's, you know, my Buddhist practice. It's my other my Buddhist family that we when we talk about these issues and, and whatever, I, I have their support because as a Buddhist organization, this is what we do. So they know that Angelica being sent in on Capitol Hill or Angelica being sent in to Hollywood or politics or this or that. Um, we know the work she's in there to do because we're here teaching it and talking about it. The human revolution, the um the the, the 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 challenging fundamental darkness and the reflecting being a mirror to people just so that's like all the things that we that are tools that I have to do and that I bring into these spaces um I have them there because I'm in the battle and bitch I get weak last night watching that R. Kelly document documentary where it took me out I was weak Learning about the fact that we going to war, I'm weak. But, bitch, you better get it together, bitch. We ain't got time for that. Look alive. Bitch, move. Look alive. We don't got time no more for the bullshit. So get your therapy, get your support system, and get ready to get in the game. And you better get get ready to get in the game for everybody. Meaning, like, you want to. We want to try to. We. I hate to say this, but I just got to say it. Like, it's 
it's like Avatar. It's like, it's like, you know, that's the first thing I can think of in the, in the moment, I'll say, is that, like, it's like an Avatar where, um, you know, they killed, or uh, like, one of the animals or something like that, and the guys celebrate, and, and the girl is, like, pissed off, and she's like, there, this, this is not a celebration. Like, or the fact that, like, in order, I forget, in order to, like, when people are possessed, you know, and people are, like, possessed and like or zombies or whatever it's like you love that person but if you don't do this certain thing strategically um there might be casualties because the thing is i'm gonna tell you what. i'm gonna tell you what bitch i'm from the Like, yes, I'm Hollywood, bitch, but let me tell you, um, it ain't gonna be me. So, I'm, my name ain't, and I'm not, I'm not saying, I don't want to say this to, in any way to be disrespectful, because that, that could, that be, could be, disrespectful. but what I'm trying to say is, is that, bitch, I'm not going down without a fight. So, if my motherfucking name and obituary ends up in the paper over some shit because y'all allow transphobic language to happen, because y'all allow trans people to be a joke, because y'all um, keep pushing trans people out of spaces, because y'all think that um, trans exclusionary radical feminists got a point when they talk about trans women, women not be shouldn't be in women's space, women's put the. Y'all co-signing on the grease that leads to that shit. Like, let me just tell you. Like, I just know that if I end up in this, I'm I'm out here. I ain't got no other choice but to be out here. So, yeah, I have cis-assuming privilege. And when I'm walking these streets, people might not readily know that I'm trans. But, bitch, I'm famous now. That is what it is. And so, like, and so people know even when they don't want to tell me that they know that I'm trans. Or that they know what page I'm on or they, they know who I am. So, bitch, I am. It is what it is. I'm standing right here. I'm here. So I'm not hiding who I am. A lot of people, a lot of y'all hiding who y'all are and hiding your views and hiding. 2020 is the year of clarity and clear vision, bitch. Get clear on what you think and feel. Say it, bitch. Stand it. Speak out loud. Speak it from the chest, bitch. Get it out. So I know where you stand. So that I know to keep my distance, bitch. Because live and let live. Okay? Live and let live. But what you not going to do is try to encroach on my living. That's where that stops. So we going to live and let live. I'm going to let your racist ass live. I'm going to let your punk ass, misogynist ass, weak ass live. Right? Just as you going to let my trans ass live. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. So live and let live. I'm not going to encroach on your living. Bitch, I'm not stopping you from getting married. I'm not stopping you from um having sex with who you want to have sex with. I'm not stopping your coin, bitch. But if you are trying to encroach on my living, even if that means you getting your coin... Is all about the process of putting money into the efforts to encroach on my living, bitch. Find the thread. Follow the thread. I'm not just going for the motherfucking obvious answer, bitch. It's a full indictment. Y'all better get it in order. Y'all better get clear. All right, um, let me go chant. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Have a good morning, y'all.